folks, we're back. Yes, Mika is live because we have an advert, which is a good start. The uh, spin is due to go live at 28, so we've got about a minute. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say about Berlin. We all know how Berlin goes. Obviously, we just we've got we've got a few new conditions in the mix, and I think we actually saw a a large weapon melee in the the Berlin earlier, didn't we? So we've got one of the new um conditions showed up in berlin already but obviously this is kind of what the tournament is based off of so uh couldn't leave it out yeah and here are the first new conditions and um, can already see the garden fork melee as the first kill i guess i can run it down his first yeah, one yeah take this one yeah uh, garden fork melee as technician is the first agent and then loud ar as rolf hirschmuller consume poison as delivery guy with its role play any screwdriver as martender and then silence pieces club security so it's a nice mix yeah and i if i'm mistaken there's only two loud assault rifles on the map i believe i might or am i thinking there's only two silenced i can't remember off the top of my head there's not uh, many assault i can't remember if the assault rifles the that are carried are silent or loud but so it's the top two floors of the biker area but i'm not sure how many agents carry it i think right, okay. two sounds about right so you can get that on the map. Consumed, obviously, there's a number of different targets consumed can be done on. Um, Low and Fall, Tremaine being the two, or uh, Davenport being the the main ones. It'll be interesting to see who they go for on that front, because obviously they all have completely different timings. And it depends on whether they want to use one of them for any other kind of objective here. Digit was in very quickly, but went for a replan and uh, went for i think this was something small like a silence pistol for the yeah, I, uh, think he, stash. Um, I think he put his stash in the wrong place because he, he he walked around the side to the little uh the little box here and there was nothing in it so uh, i think he just put it in the wrong place there he is off now still quicker than uh, mika who really has a think about it and could of course include the uh, mandatory hit maps rounds yeah, always, I mean, there's always quite a lot taken on Berlin anyway, but when you've got these added... I mean, we haven't seen, obviously, melee is a, a new condition. It is the only one of the new conditions here, but it's still something to, that you have to bear in mind. So, And I think we've got we've got away with... I don't think anyone has actually uh, done the wrong condition for a lethal melee yet, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this previous match... Uh... Uh, or, or I guess the one in the early afternoon had a Berlin and uh, a, a melee item went into a throw, so like... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but it included, like, a, uh, it was the triple shot on Banner and it was really quick and I think, uh, like, one thing came to an after the other in a very quick... Yeah. yeah. I imagine, yeah, I mean, obviously these are new conditions and people aren't used to having those conditions so you're kind of you're ingrained to kind of throw stuff at people all the time really aren't you with with uh well with any blunt or melee item generally throwing is always better so you kind of get that ingrained and probably forget that you've got to do uh <laughs> yes a, a melee now need to think about it at a lot a lot uh and pg gets the first kill of this match yeah, with the bartender cool. screwdriver for agent sam's doesn't need the club crew, so if he leaves that, might just go for the delivery guy now. Um, Rolf, probably the only one of these that's kind of out of the way. Um, all the rest are pretty easy to get. Um, so we might see the Rolf kill last, and that might be on someone like Montgomery or... Um, forget the name of the other guy on the bottom four chamberlain chamberlain yeah 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 so we might see but then allow a loud kill on the bottom floor as well could also be uh, a tricky one so yeah curious to see how can uh, they exit after that fifth kill i also feel like it would be a uh, rooftop for biker compound for those four kills and then down for uh, rolf to finish it off it's gonna gonna delay time. They both look like they've gone for um, lone fall with the poison. He is the slowest of the poison kills, so there's gonna be a bit of timing involved in this one. KG, I didn't see what happened there. He went for a replan. Oh, that that uh, 
load that looks empty. And I think it was a switch around and he wanted the a drink oh. and the silence pistol and the okay. first three plan turned his pistol off the loadout. So now he has everything, but uh, <laughs> it's a crucial fortunate restart. We've all done that at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Problem sometimes with having so many uh, reskins and, and things, you don't you forget which one you've got in your inventory sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Poor PG, the realization that he cannot do the kill uh, in yeah. any capacity because no sense. It's Puts him about one and a half minutes behind, um, which I mean, on Berlin, that's not a huge margin. Um, there's there's a lot of places you can optimize on Berlin. Yeah, uh, of course, ev on every map you can uh, speed it up significantly with the uh, freestyle format, but. Of course, they are used to this Berlin already, so under 10 minutes shouldn't be surprising. I was liking that uh, Mika was uh, juggling the targets, set up the poison, and Vide uh, said that if a gun, he KO'd Davenport, and now he's looking for greens, which would be like three setups in a short period of time. He's gone unconscious witness, but that's, that must have just, I think that's just a side. A dodgy side KO there. Or we may have seen the other body actually. He's going to lure Banner up as well, which kind of becomes the standard for Roulette now. This will be... Yeah, one kill and three KO'd agents. So that work, the math works out and he can melee one of the other agents for the fifth kill. Yeah. <coughs> Of course, Garden Fork is also in the biker compound up in the uh, fumigation room, so a lot of what you need here is in the biker's area anyway, isn't it? So pretty much everything, in, in all fair, <laughs> other than other than Rolf Hirschmiller. Yeah. Pretty much the entire spin is in the uh, the biker, isn't it? So. Just yeah, I think it would make in. sense to just get the disguise and uh, one of the biker agents. Is it uh, Rhodes or... Remain from the top two floors and uh, get a loud AR from nearby and then just get back to these targets. Yeah, because I don't, neither of them smuggled a loud AR, did they? So they're going to have to go for one on the map. But yeah, there is, I think I'm, I think I'm getting it the wrong way around. I think there's only two silenced assault rifles on the map, which are held by two of the uh, bikers on the bottom floor, whereas all the rest are loud. So I think there's actually quite a lot of loud. So it shouldn't be hard for them to find a loud assault rifle. It would just be, yeah, who they choose. I mean, the, the roof, in my experience, the roof is, it's not soundproof, but nobody ever actually comes up to the roof effectively, even when you shoot a loud weapon. Yeah, we were discussing that earlier, that uh, it might just be a civilian hearing it or a fake NPC that the knowledge doesn't spread enough so that the guards would investigate. But yeah, they can hear it just luckily. Nothing worry about there. So, Mika's got two down. Fiji currently has one. He is checking this uh, guard again. Doesn't want to get red guns, probably. And Mika's returning to the biker compound, taking the free biker disguise so that he has access at least for the Garden Fork and perhaps the Loud AR or one of the Loud ARs. Green! Agent Green, are you still there? Yeah, all right. PG also doing the banner lure. Got him. Showtime. Uh, Mika, okay, Mika's going for the yeah, so screwdriver, Garden Fork. Loud AR, he can all get in quite close proximity here. Yeah, and it works out for him because the silence pistol and the consume poison versus two kills and the other three require items. And Pitch is already at three out of five uh, with a consumed kill. I think the screwdriver is his advantage, which he got. Yeah, and he's just chasing banner up the stairs yeah it's probably for the loud kill in the future yeah. uh, so that he's up here yeah i mean obviously 
Rolf seems like a long way, but actually you can just go all the way up those stairs that he just went up. It's, it's a bit of a trek up the stairs, but that will take you all the way there. He looks like he's going exactly. triple shot Tremaine over here as well. Now that I haven't seen a lot before, and I'm not sure if uh, he comes alone or perhaps. Yeah, I, I have experimented <laughs> with this. I've experimented in a roulette kind of situation of there are five you can you can effectively lure five people to the roof if you want to you can lure swan you can lure tremaine you and there's a um you can get uh davenport up but the problem is who they pick up on route sometimes so mm -hmm. i think tremaine is probably more about the timing of where those because he has two roaming guards with him yeah he's brought one of them with him but he should be able to i mean it won't matter if obviously if tremaine sees him get ko'd and he's gonna <laughs> just keep chasing <laughs> and get the uh, garden fork melee. There it Such is. a relief that it is a lethal melee, so it can be done for any angle. If it was a pistol elimination, it would have been a GRB already. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen a few of them this tournament so far. Oof. Yeah. So Mika is the first to go down for roll. But he does only have two kills on the cards right now. Yeah, it's kind of his one chance. If he can get the disguise much earlier and get something uh, done in the meantime, because PG is now already going down to get his disguise, the last one even. So kind of kept and kind of we can kind of see the finish for PG in the next two, three minutes. Yeah, and Mika's going to take the so he's going to skip a couple of floors on his way up there and then we'll just take the stairs so he still needs the garden fork and the silence pistol i believe doesn't he or am i getting i, I lost a little bit of track of it yeah. <laughs> i need to think about it as well i'm also thinking about this picture in picture it's a naked it would be the rooftop security judging by i think judging by how the lighting looks like and that means like a third agent would get to that spot yeah which means someone else it's very rare for someone else to go to the roof um i know rolf's two guards can go to the roof in certain situations i believe but he hadn't taken out rolf yet so i'm not sure mm -hmm. who else would have gone up there unless that was just a very delayed lure from when he got tremaine but that would have to be very delayed for him to be that late or he's, Probably, or, or he's run a different way and then decided to uh, go back across the roof as the AI sometimes do have strange pathing when they try to get back to their original position. Mm -hmm. I'm also worried about uh, one other uh, possibility in Berlin on the rooftop and it would be the Florida Man friend. But yes, that's I'm true. not sure we will ever know. No, he obviously didn't appear in the picture-in-picture, picture, so uh, yeah, we can't see who exactly... And kind of one of the lucky few who's never actually witnessed that bug. So um... <laughs> you're you're out of Berlin too quickly. Before <laughs> that could happen, you already finished the mission. That does put Mika on the front foot again. He does have two other targets down. Um... Definitely the loud AR kill. And... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure which other kill he has. It looks like it might be the screwdriver. He's just changed into bartender. And I know he did pick up a screwdriver when he went into the biker hideout, so we could be seeing number four here we are. So he's just got to get the loud AR and choose who he... Uh, takes out you would assume he, uh who is that he's got ko'd i can't see who that We've lost one. We, uh, we could see that position. it would be devonport uh, i think below him or like next to the stairs uh, that was an really interesting gum, uh yes gum, yeah yeah obviously one thing to note is i believe rolf is allowed to carry um any illegal weapon isn't he so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he won't have any issues on that front or, or perhaps with some very random uh, uh, exception like a scrap sword or or all decks, but generally it is possible. Yeah, and the smuggled AR Shashka. will Shashka Beast, just for good measure. 
Yeah. Is going to be Mika out. One lucky rip from Pidgeotto, which, yeah, we're not entirely sure who uh, who caused the rip, but that has cost him that map, unfortunately. Because, yeah, otherwise it was really... Uh... Really smart way to lure the targets there to the rooftop, and Pidgey was on a really good timing. Said it didn't work out for him with that body found. And uh, Mika was mentioning before that uh, he never won a, a map in these uh, community events. So that's first one on the board. And congrats, Mika, taking the lead in Berlin. Yeah, and we will be seeing Mendoza next. Um, we've seen Mendoza quite a lot, I think. I feel like I've seen it quite a lot in this tournament. Um, it does offer some interesting strategies, and we've already seen a couple of uh, non-waiter starts, which is the one thing you really want to see in uh, Mendoza, because <laughs> the waiter start is super duper powerful in this map. Um, so it's good to see anything but that. But yeah, I really the fourth Mendoza. I do the fourth one. Is it okay? I was gonna say I feel like we've seen Mendoza a lot, but that yeah. I think that's just a general feeling when you see Mendoza is that you feel like you've seen it a bit too much. So, <laughs> if it's 50 maps, there will be some rep rep repetition, but in two weeks, we won't get bored of these formats. That's no way. No. Anything you want to see on Mendoza? It's, it's kind of by the books for the most part, but I'm, I'm thinking what is possible that we haven't seen because we had uh, the two unique disguises type of uh, situation, uh, lawyer and sommelier, uh, we've had double snipes or potential snipes with firearms, we've had explosion, uh, drive by for Tamara. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if uh, falling, ob falling object, I think it would be too much for Tamara and therefore... Oh, for, yeah, falling object is banned, yeah, because the chances that you're going to go through the process, I think, for Tamara when on is uh is right there it's, yeah uh, it's just one of those <laughs> pichero showing off his uh his climbing skills again which did mention one day that he found a way to to skip a couple of seconds in the cinema area and yeah. the, that would be this uh out of bounds action it was just we can see the replay uh, or we can rewatch after the match but uh he kind of Look like he just, just walked went straight up the, onto stairs. the stairs. Yeah, he didn't really yeah. do anything particular there. Just kind of walked on the stairs. But yeah, I feel like a double a double loud would be good here. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of them live would be quite nice as well. Maybe a loud pistol elimination. I don't. That's my favorite of the new uh, the newly included ones, just because it's uh, quite spicy. It is, isn't on pretty, it? On pretty much any target in the game, I think a loud, loud pistol is uh, not easy. It's it's probably the, the best new trick uh, because we have the loud kills, we have the live kills, and for the first time, it's it's combined into one. I think it's a great challenge. And uh, yeah, Spin is here. I think it's your turn now. Lives. We have Silence Shotgun as the Asado Chef and an Icicle Throne as the Providence Herald. I like those disguises because mm -hmm. Asado Chef almost forces an Asado Chef start because he's such a difficult disguise to get. And the Providence Herald can also be quite tricky to get. So this is quite a nice little spin. Obviously, you've got to go right to the bottom into the freezer to get the icicle as well. Um, so it'll be interesting, and obviously the, the, the other side effect of doing the Asado Chef start is that Tamara starts at the viewport and not down uh, on the dance floor where she would start if you started waiter. So she's a bit in a bit quite a different position. Yeah, I mean we did get what we wanted because I think this is the spin <laughs> which uh, doesn't force uh, waiter. It is the opposite of that, and uh, it's a very good start for Sado, and we'll see some Tamara Seeker action guaranteed, at least on PG's side. Uh, Mika will start uh, Vator, and uh, yeah. we'll attempt to get the Asado later on. That will be interesting to see. 
Yeah, I mean, wait, waiter is still viable, I would say, but I, I know, yeah, kind of this, the general feeling in roulette is that if a Sardo chef comes up, you tend to start there. But um, it is always possible to get the uh, disguise later on. So it'll be interesting, yeah, to see how he goes about it. Getting the standard ice on Tamara. And choosing to go straight for the Providence Herald, with the looks of things. It can be a really quick Tamara kill. And I think with Herald, we've seen a combination, not in, particularly in this tournament, but it is possible to delay Tamara in a way that she's still around uh, as long as or until the disguise is acquired. And I think it's a quick grab by Mika. And Tamara is still behind him. So it could, could be a quick kill or a quick ice, I guess, because the icicle won't be around. Yeah, the icicle is thrown, obviously. So. Oh, there you go. Tamara has just collapsed. So he's, interestingly, he's letting Don go. Um, I would say Don is probably the harder of the two to isolate once he leaves mm. that balcony. Um, he doesn't have a lure like Tamara does with the waiter. It's going to be interesting that... to see how he gets Don as well. This is brutal by PG. Uh, unconscious witness from basically one fo floor above. Uh, as the other mercenary turned around just with a very annoying head turn, uh, ending Pidgey's run, and now Mika with a one and a half minute lead. Yep, and already. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to let you in there, unfortunately. Um, mm -hmm. You go up in through the window, if he knows about the, uh, the little window, which looks like he's looking at. Ventilation shaft, whatever you want to call that, there, but uh, that's the easy way into this. I mean, this is kind of the most time consuming part of this spin is is coming down here for the uh, icicle. Not too difficult to do, it's pretty easy to get in and grab it. Um, the Herald does have quite good um, areas where he can go to, he's not trespassing in a lot of areas, so quite a good disguise to have. And the use of uh... The camera, he made his way into the the freezer and got the item. And I think around the three minute mark, we'll uh, see that first kill. And then uh, he can go for the disguise. If there's a quick way to do that, I think it's a good second cycle kill for Mika. And uh, six, seven minutes finishing. Gone down. So Pidgey has effectively taken the lead at only one minute 20, but he does have the Herald, the Icicle, and Tamara still to go. So. Um... A little bit of work left. We're going to see the first target down for Mika. First double check in the spin. The Herald kill is the longest, hardest, or longer, harder one, but with this combination, Mika having to go for the Sado Chef, it, it might just be that Peach is still in the lead after the trip, or despite the trip. Yeah, and I don't know if Mika bought a seeker. I'd haven't because that would be one option. Although getting the chef to a a bathroom is quite tricky because he'll tend to go to the, uh, the the barrier and throw up onto the dance floor. Yeah. So yeah, this could be a tricky one. I think he's just taking stock and possibly just trying to work out how he's actually going to do this. Because, again, it tends to be something that you don't really practice a lot because, in most cases, you start as chef. So a lot of people don't probably don't practice a chef grab all that much, which makes it a bit trickier again. KO in the bathroom. Yeah, it's all good and safe for Pidger. And Mika did have a long pause here and... He is now back in the game. Think about these options. Yeah, I wonder if he was maybe just looking on hit maps to see if there was a free disguise anywhere, just holding out a little bit of hope that there might have been a, a yeah. free one he could pick up. But unfortunately, not. Pidgey's in a bodyguard, which gives him full access to this whole area. Go grab the ice cool and he does have Tamara down in that bathroom, so we may be seeing this over quite soon. Yeah, we might not see the Mika plan for the disguise because Pidgey is just 
so quick and determined with this second run. And I'm not sure if uh, he has the keys, but even without that, uh, an exit is not too far away. And Mika gets into chest passing area anyway. It's not like uh, the waiter; he can't get through there, sadly. So no, and I think that settles it. Yeah, he's just he has just bought a seeker in his loadout, but um, I, yeah, I don't think that's gonna help him now, unfortunately. This one, this guy is required a precise throw at the middle. He'll of course just bring the male on, despite him being the further away. <laughs> this is this is the one the one disguise on this map I always struggle with. The Herald uh, can be a bit fiddly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and with the Taunton, extra safety for PG. See, there are. I think there's three male heralds on the map isn't there but this one tends to be the go-to the others are in a little bit awkward positions so yes the other two are overlooking the tango area uh, right after tamara finishes the talk with the receptionist and go up to the stairs uh, that's where they are yes, so. yeah so i mean you could you could seek one of those and they would probably go to a bathroom but um mm -hmm. finding a position to seek them might be awkward yeah, it sounds like a pneumatic device kind of uh, deal or the tango musician from from cover or something, but not the case here, which is very well done with this Mendoza spin and Tamara's already, uh, uh, Diana's already in position. Yeah, I don't know that he needed to change the chef particularly, but um, <laughs> it's not going to hurt him, so he's going to go for a nice tango. He will be out. You can see Mika has gone for the... Uh, the seeker shot on the chef there, so I think he's going to find out pretty. I oh, know he is actually, yeah, no, he, yeah, he's going to go to the uh, the railing and throw up. So he, I think he would have found out very quickly that that was also probably not going to work, unfortunately. No. Yeah, at least now he knows that it's just not viable. Although I, I do want to say that Linux uh, was in a similar situation, made the herald seek, uh, who was puking at this ledge, and he just won. So that can uh, distraction. I think he turned around everyone and got the disguise. So something definitely to rewatch from round one. Yeah, the other option is to wait until he finishes um, throwing up, and you can pull him into that flower bed. But obviously, a long, a long waiting time there. So um, mm. there we go. Confirmation one apiece. We're going on to another free target map, Mumbai. Um. We've seen some very quick spins on Mumbai so far. Um, it's probably, I don't know, in my mind, I would say it's the easiest of the free target maps because the, mm -hmm. the, the brick lore is kind of crazy powerful. Um, and especially in this mode, unless you somehow get free life kills, you're, you're probably always going to do a Skywalk start. And get the maelstrom's tray away it's kind of one of the downsides in some ways of this uh this format is that it does kind of allow for that instant maelstrom but um hopefully we see something spicy still although pidgey has gone dancer i know he does like that dancer start doesn't he yeah i do think that he will try something different here uh for me and for freestyle in general it is a great relief that uh there are three conditions to choose from, and you can probably uh, end up with one loud one for for the Maelstrom, one live one for Vanya, and then, of course, one remaining for Dawood. But then, of course, there is always a chance that uh, the math doesn't work out that way, and then it will result in something really unique. Nothing wrong with that. I think uh, it's nice that Mumbai is a bit more approachable this way. Yeah. And uh, what time has we, have we got? So we got, it's going to be starting on the hour. So we've got about four minutes till the spin. Um, I think we, we might have to start, start taking roulette records as well. Start writing down roulette records. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if any, I don't know if anyone has been uh, keeping track of map times on this one. Yeah, definitely worth watching. And I was going to mention that uh, I really like the, the admin overlay because it, it has it down to the second and it's uh, scientific accuracy. We don't have to watch the vote for uh, 
for for responses so you can just watch it back in the website if yes. uh, <laughs> how quick a sip spin was you know, I am sorry. Um, who was it had it I'm just trying to go back through to see where we've had a mumbai uh my my brain is not currently working uh, both matches today had a Mumbai opener. Yeah. Blythe won yeah, against think, Joker. Yeah, Blythe yeah. had a very quick Mumbai, didn't he? I think that's the one I'm thinking of. That's seven mm -hmm. minutes, which um, which is pretty good for Mumbai in general. I think it was the triple guard spin, uh, just so impressive, yes, and of course very yeah, favorable. Queen's guard, Queen's bodyguard, and uh, the Bollywood uh, Bollywood bodyguard. Yeah. yeah. Which, um, yeah, Queen. Queen's Guard and Queen's Bodyguard in the same spin is is <laughs> kind of horrible. I've I've got confused at least once by those two two disguises. Very similar in name and look. It's a bit of trolling from IOI, I think, on that one. Yeah. Uh, luckily, uh, players are experienced in regular roulette, so they know the picture or can imagine that uh, the bodyguard is the gold one, the regular guard uh, with the white gray. Outfit, so I don't really see any ways to. In my match, when I went, when I made that mistake in, in <laughs> Roulette Rival <Rumble> Seven, <laughs> oh, it's it's either you see someone <laughs> switch it up, or you are the one who switches it up and yeah. remembers forever. But there are some of those mistakes that I guess will haunt you, but will also uh, help you remember for forever. We've all suffered from Roulette Brain, at least at some point oh, yeah. as well so uh <laughs> okay spin will be live any second we'll run this one down when it shows up yeah sure go for it yeah about 30 seconds i think and uh yeah this best of five became best of three and uh with mumbai and santa fortuna guaranteed and potentially chongqing as the Third no time limit decider today. That would be quite a quite a nice day after the no deciders yesterday. Yeah, I think uh, I'm, I, Santa Fortuna is one I'm really looking forward to. I think every spin we've had on Santa Fortuna so far has been very good. So that's going to be exciting. This one is here. Good. So it is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Do you want to take this one? Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I, my mind was off, so I guess I can finish it now. A kitchen knife as elite thug for the first target. Fiber virus, Kashmirian for the second. And thrown letter opener, squeeze bodyguard yet again. There's one. And this would be the third target. Quite a safe spin. Um, I would say, I mean, kitchen knife and kitchen knife, I believe, is in the Kashmirian's apartment. Or is that, oh, I, I might be wrong there. Kitchen yeah, knife should be one there. That I'm not 100% sure. I think there's a kitchen knife there and letter opener I'm not 100% sure on, but I mean, you've got Queen's Bodyguard. Um, obviously, you can you could set up Vanya and take her body, take the bodyguard out for there, so I think we'll see letter opener for Queen's Bodyguard. I don't think there's any question on that one. Um, the other two... Uh, I feel like kitchen knife any is going to be uh probably the maelstrom here i think i, I don't think there's probably going to be a lot of variation on this one unfortunately at least none of these are obviously close to targets and vidvania being probably the easiest to to live kill although of course uh with the snail that would is fairly easy to get and we've seen a it's true actually. smg elimination in the match before one. Pidgey going for a train yard start potentially here, just weighing up his options. Very rare to see a train yard start, but um he's going He's a fan of Mumbai and he's a fan of uh, switching his things up, uh like the meta at least, so Yeah. Uh, is there a letter opener in the uh in the train yard somewhere? Not hundred percent sure on the letter opener. I would think that the only one is in the uh, laundry foreman's office uh, downstairs where the right, okay. disguise as well. Okay, so a little bit out of the way, but not too bad. Heads up. Your seat might still be warm, man. Check a certain website and see what it says. Uh, 
sure someone in the chat will uh, confirm that. No, yeah, you are right. Yeah, the only one is in the foreman's office there. So, yeah, that's going to be a little bit out of the way to get, but not too bad. Yeah. Picture getting this early ice on Vanya outside. And yeah, Rima is here as well. So, I think everyone. <laughs> who's relevant, has been taken care yeah, of here, and no surprises inside, here. No matter what. Yeah. I think he was just about to take out that guard, and he head turns. But he uh, still gets him. Meanwhile, Mika has gone for the standard Skywalk, Maelstrom, Holy Man trio. Obviously, Holy Man, just a little bit better than Suit. Doesn't quite have as many enforcers. It's always a good disguise to take whilst you've got him there. Yeah, you can easily uh, chip up on a crowd enforcer if you are not careful in the suit. So it's the Holy Man does that very well. Especially and I think if you're like me and just no matter how much I play this map, I still don't know the slums. And I think Mika's in the same situation, just constantly <laughs> flipping onto the map and just checking which way. It's just like, I could, yeah, so hard to learn your way around this area. Yeah, both routes are viable because uh, if he went for the left side, he could find the Kashmirian, but I think he was going for a kitchen knife yeah. and can get it here. Yeah, Just need to hide quickly because the they are all crowded. Pick and pieces you tell. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh... G looks like he might be doing a similar thing. And picks up a manifesto. That's uh... <laughs> trying to get his mission stories done whilst he's at it. Yeah, we've seen challenges pop up on both sides. <laughs> I haven't seen a chameleon pop yet. That's, uh, that's the one that normally comes up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but important to remember that he's the Queen's guard at the moment, but I'm fairly yeah. sure he knows that. Yeah, I think mean, he's possibly just got into a legal disguise for the knife. And so that he can get into the laundry, I, uh, I imagine, so he can go and get the letter opener. Oh Although it does look like he might be heading possibly towards the Kashmirian. No, yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's going to go into the laundry. So he's just getting that disguise to get in there. And the key is in <laughs> that pot, which yeah, usually only, takes a bit to get. I only learned and that recently. It's really hard to. I get sometimes. I think it was actually a, a lure that might have been heard by the foreman outside upstairs. I think it wasn't the case here, and he's hoping to open this one, but head turns can happen. Yeah, that was that's very risky. Quick replan. He's gone straight for Skywalk. I mean, he obviously feels like he's maybe on the back foot a little bit now. I'm going from possibly just a slightly safer strat. Yeah, worth a try, but yeah. this is now same as uh, uh, Berlin, the first map, where Pijero had a quicker strat, but uh, one one rip, one one restart uh, swung it to Mika's favor. Yeah, who is now three minutes into his run as the Kashmirian, he's probably looking for the brick and the fiber wire kill on uh, most likely Vanya still before yeah. the Davud isolation. Yeah, so not quite what I thought, but I, I think, yeah, thinking about it, Vanya is probably the prime target for a live kill, I guess. Um, easiest of the three to kind of isolate outside of obviously the initial Skywalk, but there is, I believe there is a way to get the Maelstrom at about one minute in with a live kill, isn't there, which might have been an option get the Kashmirian and get back down. I think we've seen that in a match before. Um, but that possibly a bit of a risky strat to go for in this situation. Yeah, the greatest part of the slums is that um, the Maelstrom can be approached from so many starts. Um, not even sure if it's the same and that we are thinking of. Uh, Meme Junk is a big advocate for food vendor start and getting him in the shallow water, but that's just one of many approaches to get uh, get him. So it's uh, obviously a very interesting target, but uh, Skywalk works for, most, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, so. Skywalk's kind of 
everyone knows the Skywalk and everyone knows it's safe, which I think is why you end up going for it. I feel like M Mumbai is probably one of the, the few maps that where there's still a lot of exploration and a lot of strats that we haven't seen. That's a potential here, that's for sure. Pidgey <laughs> definitely switched up his strat, going for the Kashmirian now. Mika is also in the Kashmirian, just trying to work his way around the slums again. He's uh, one step more cautious and doesn't uh, enter the area with the letter opener. And it hasn't been a brick strat just yet. It seems like uh, he has still the brick in his hand and wants to get that uh, letter opener before he manipulates the targets in any way. Yeah, and obviously elite fog you can get from um, the down inside the little hut um, is probably the one of the safer ones to go for. So you... effectively, the Kashmirian is the only disguise that's out of the way, and the other the, he you know he could wait at the boathouse, get the elite fog in in the meantime. He's got a bit of time to play around with, so yeah, going for the weapon first just gives him that little bit of... Uh, he's also... That's the folding knife, isn't it? Not the, not a knife. So you bring the foreman up. Yeah, either KO him or just uh, wait until he's out of the picture and then dodge the other NPC. And I think PG is really went back to the uh, mainline meta, uh, getting the outside disguise and then throwing the brick at earliest convenience. And, yeah, uh, whether that's a bit, I say, the, whether that's a little bit of him thinking maybe he's on the back foot or just for maybe I could try something for my first run and hope it sticks. Um, not entirely. Probably sure, it's but, his. Yeah. Yeah, probably his safe fallback option. Like he restarted once, he doesn't want to restart. Yeah, uh, doing something fancy more times. He's now going for Anya. And I think that three-minute Mika lead has has shrunk somewhat because I think the difference now is basically the items, uh, the knife and the lottery opener. But PG has the advantage of uh, the the brick already being thrown in, so he will be the one uh, getting the Vanya kill first by, I would say, up to a minute. Yeah, so it's gonna. This could come down to how quickly PG can get the uh, the knife and the letter opener. So Mika has looked a little bit lost in the slums, which there's no harm in that. Everyone does get lost in the slums, but um, it can cost you a lot of time. Yeah, always dangerous uh, in the slums with the lethal melee getting those takes a while. So just waiting for Rima, who is the one you always want to take out first because of her nasty head turns. <laughs> Nicely taken care of, and then I'm not sure if there's a system between uh, which one stops more than the other, but yeah, I think once this is much easier. Little, um... Once they're past the little uh, metal structure that they walk past, they're kind of similar because one of them, again, one of them does have a bit of a horrible head turn when he uh, kind of bumps into that pillar and turns around. But once you're past that, I think you're kind of safe. So one target down. We are 12 and minutes in. Pichu already getting the uh, subsequent disguise. And. Uh... I think he'll just be waiting for Dawood and he's uh, he's a fan of the barge, so it may not be the the usual snare strategy, which <laughs> of course it wasn't the case always, but since the DLC dropped, uh, it has become very powerful to isolate Dawood there. But he has a chunk in hand, so it might be a different one. Yeah, there's there's quite a few different ways you can get Dawood here, actually, I think, isn't there? It's, um, there's no one kind of standard way to get him. We always see a bit of variation. He's got an emetic device for the looks of things. Yeah, very interested who will be that used on. As I say, Elite Fug you can get from just inside the hideout. He uh, kind of isolates himself in that side room.
It uses a brick, but of course it's not needed anymore. I had to stop for a moment to see if it's needed. A little bit of trouble with the uh, bumping here. Just needs to. There you go. Just needs to keep Rima there. Why am I... Ooh, oh, <laughs> that's the cluster. <laughs> oh, he's got away with it. He's having. There you go. You can actually. KO them in quite close proximity, he says. The wow. Head turn, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's the one scary part. And <laughs> those two stop or those three stop at random occasions. So this is, yeah, this is looking very interesting now because Pidgey still needs to go and get the letter opener. Um, I haven't but seen I think... the knife, but he definitely needs the letter opener still. Sadly, he won't get the letter opener in this run. Pijero has been uh, juggling these targets. One, the food vendor with the calmer. The other one with the... I think it was the other food vendor, actually, or one of the thugs. Yeah, it's the naked thug we can see in the left side. But he has already placed the guns for the Bollywood bodyguards, and one of them spotted the the dragging action and went into Hunted. Oh, no. So... Another restart puts Mika firmly in the lead. Still not plain sailing. Um, so there's a number of ways to do this, Darwood Iso. So he does have a gold brick in his inventory. To indicate he's probably going for the the uh, crowd strap and get all of them at once. Yeah, plenty of time to do so. It's a very interesting difference that. Uh... Dawood is much slower this time, but of course it depends on the cycles, and that's a bit different uh, once a couple of minutes has passed. Yeah, so, so the brick law was then... quite late, effectively, wasn't it? About six and a half minutes mm -hmm. is, is quite late for the brick law, so um, he was probably somewhere random in the tower. Now, there is actually two different snail isos, isn't there? You can get all of them here, which he's going for. You can put the uh, snail... You can make him sick and put the snail just behind, can't you, on the little, uh, behind the boat. Gone for that one there. Both are quite safe. Yeah. Just and it, it's working for Mika, stop. but yeah. pausing for... Making sure he's got the right weapon. Now just the elite thug. He does already have the Kashmirian down. There's a lot to go in this spin, yeah. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit careful um, getting down into the, the hideout, but he should be okay from here. Ah. Ooh, he's breaking this one open. Is so this going to be loud? Gonna be, probably going to be heard, but it doesn't seem to be, actually. Oh, no, it is. Oh! The way to go. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. It's the wrong place to go. Oh, me, God. It's that so unfortunate. Is, there's not really anywhere to hide in that top room, unfortunately. He saw the yellow suspicion bar, but didn't know where it come from. Yeah, if he I just looked a bit up, he, he would have seen that guard initial, come there. I think the initial whoosh was from him walking past the stairs, which is probably what kind of made him lose his bearings a little. Yeah, very confusing moment. And that he basically, that's all he needed, because I think once that happens, he can dodge the regular thugs and get the elite one, and it's just a regular kill on... Uh, the man's strong. Yeah, you've got to be very careful with any any form of loud action in that area. Um, the guys up top and the guys on that bottom floor can hear it. Yeah, after all this, I think it's... Uh, well, no, it is definitely Peach's lead, of course. With my almost three minutes now and finishing the early preparations and now going to shoot the pot because it was the Kruger Meyer, it wasn't okay, heard and easy grab on the key. <laughs> if he can pick up the key, because I don't think he did. I think it's buried in the got stuck in, uh, the, in the pot. Oh, it's uh, so difficult for him. We could see on instinct, but it just <laughs> doesn't want to show up. The pot, doesn't he? Now he's got the uh, the tour crew here as well. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> very frustrated yes. by that, unsurprisingly. One of the told him that the slum... Nothing works here, yeah. yeah I think he, he has to 
have to take the slightly longer route. There's, there's still quite a safe route around the side through the uh, the, the side area of the laundry. Um, you can walk all the way along that side bit, jump over the bin, and you're still kind of in the same position. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he's <laughs> spending quite, quite some time with this one. Any way of <laughs> going around the long way should have been quicker. It's just really frustrating, I can understand. Of course, this is allowing me to catch up a little as well. Oh, that went full suspicion meter for some reason. Uh, he got spotted trespassing with, without any uh, without any bar. Yeah. yeah, I think he might have been a little bit confused by that one as well. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he was trying to peekaboo, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. It was nothing illegal there. Nothing delayed, or it's the longest delay, I guess. The map swings back the other way slightly. Nice back yeah. and forward here. And as for Mika, so of course he has taken quite some minutes uh, getting these little melees. But of course now he, he knows where those are, so I'm expecting a much quicker run this time. Yeah, and hopefully won't go for the, uh, the crowbar. On that door again obviously you, the 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 fug that you pull out using the generator does have the key for that door if you wanted to go through that that top door um, but he needs to be on the bottom floor essentially anyway for the uh, elite fug so he might just go for the more standard generator yeah probably that's i mean of course he has plenty of second thoughts after this one Not sure if uh, he can speed up any part of this. He was uh, for he, for him it was really safe and uh, consistent to use the fuse box and then KO them one by one and then get the letter opener and then get to the brick or to the pot with the brick. So I don't see any changes here. No, hopefully he can just opt yeah, optimize a little bit. You don't want to optimize too much. I mean, you're with, with what. 20 minutes into the spin probably wondering how your opponent hasn't finished yet <laughs> wondering whether you do need to rush or whether you play it safe it's it's always a tricky one when you're actually in the match yeah yeah after this many restarts they can really expect the other to finish and it really plays with your mind Mika has the letter opener. I assume he also has the knife. I didn't see him pick that up, but he has been going on to get the knife on the way through. So four minutes. So his brick claw is going to be a little bit earlier this time, the looks of things. Yeah, of course it might change that would a bit, but Mika got there really early, so I don't think it will matter a lot. No, I mean, that would is trickier if you let him get all the way to the boathouse, but he's certainly not impossible to get there. It's just a bit more long-winded, so it's not the end of the world if he does make it all the way to the, the boathouse, but he should have plenty of time, especially with Vanya. You know, he's, Vanya's essentially set up now, so once he has Vanya mm. down, he should be pretty much fine. It's a risky one for Mika. He's using the pot which was uh, stirred by the metal worker, so could have been a lock on, but of course it wasn't. And then Vanya is in motion. Uh, yeah, as always, for PG, always use the prompt for the brick. That's that's what I. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, as... uh, enforce on that one. Always use the uh, yeah the prompt. So much so much easier. Yeah. Both in the same uh, as... place. Yeah, it's really nice this thing, and I'm not quite sure now if the difference is uh, anything else other than the kitchen knife, because PG definitely did get the uh, letter opener without any issues this turn. Uh, I think he went and got the knife, PG. I think he did it whilst he was the holy man. Oh, and then uh, it is I just... Saw, uh... I saw him go into that, that little side room, so I think they they might be on even round here then Mika two minutes more in-game time but 
potentially in the same position here. Yeah, then this is wonderfully synced. Yeah, getting Reamer a little bit early this time. That's going to help him just watch out for this guard's head turn. Yep, goes for the right-hand guard. And Vanya's down a lot earlier. It's bumping Reem a lot as well, but it is was a bit oh, too early. I didn't quite wait, no. Just needed an extra second for that guard to take one more step. So on the back foot again, and he's just <laughs> probably breathing out quite heavily. Take a bit of stock. Probably. And, uh, yeah. Hoping, yeah. Hoping this map ends soon and then <laughs> can just <laughs> take the next step, two maps instead. Just. Not his Mumbai so far. And of course, it, if it wasn't for that very unlucky thug for Mika, this would have been over uh, eight, nine minutes ago. Yeah, he's going to go through the motions again. So hopefully he's learned from that and will now... I mean, there, there's so many elite thugs on the map you can get. Um, this one is generally kind of a pretty safe one. Um, the guy in the little, because he, he, he is isolated in that little room. Um, but there, there's a few others you can go for. They're a little bit out of the way. But I think he'll probably still try and go for this one. Pidgey's let a little bit of rage out and is uh, starting again. Yeah, back, back, in, back in an actual run. But how much of it will we see? Because Mika, once again, with the snail drop, needs to bump all four so that they don't run away. I think everyone should be hit by that. And, uh, okay, he's not in the right disguise, yeah. Mika. Of course, yeah. doesn't get the kill, but yeah. forgot to change into the Queen's Bodyguard. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was an oversight or if he just thought maybe he didn't have enough time for uh, Darwood. Although a disguise change, probably an oversight in that case, because only takes a few seconds to change the skies. Yeah, probably lots going on in, in, in his mind. Yeah, yeah, a little, it's a little bit of a detour, but he, obviously he doesn't know he's got a seven minute lead right now. But, um, <laughs> yeah. He does have a nice safety net. Might also see an elite thug grab from this heel, but I think it's just going to be the Queen's bodyguard, just so much more straightforward. Oh, he's going up and gets compromised by the civilian right there. That is actually brutal. Like, how do you expect that to happen at that point in time in a very empty area? Oh, Mika. Yeah, that's it's just hitman things, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no way to explain that. Everything going well? No, let's put an, put an NPC there to squash you. So, uh, another another big switch. Pidgey back in the lead. Um, both strats looking very similar now. I think they've both optimised the strats as much as they're probably going to. But now it's just the execution side of it. Yeah, optimized, simplified, just, I guess, <laughs> went towards meta and for for safety, yeah. And, it, it, like, breaking it down to parts, nothing from here is, a, is too significant or too hard. Just the usual Vanya kill, the usual Davu Daiso and then Elite Tuck Disguise. Shouldn't be shouldn't be difficult, but tournament so anything can happen there. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, also, I mean but nearly 30 minutes into the spin, a little bit of fatigue setting in as well. Mm-hmm. Um, that's always something you gotta bear in mind. 
the Mikarip two minutes ago was by shooting the ladder to get to the elite thug, but it was seen by uh, the alone uh, civilian person yeah, next to the boathouse. He changed his slightly. He was to obviously go up to the. Uh, he obviously thought the hill was a slightly safer elite thug, which again, there's no, there's no wrong thug to go for on this map. They're all kind of safe-ish. Um, it's just a case of which one you're more comfortable with. Well, it's such an unfortunate pattern, but I must say that uh, Mika has now both ripped, ripped to both elite thug approaches, but not by the elite thug, but the, yeah, uh, the receding route, NPC. The route towards the thug. Yeah. Just watch out for this first guard's head turn. He's got away with that, fine. Just chases after him, just waiting that extra second this time. Turns Van, you have to make sure he doesn't get a GRB. Confirmed kill on Vanya shot. Okay, we're back to one kill to none. No rest for the wicked. Mika just <laughs> going through the motions at this point. We've seen this already a few times now. Go for yeah. Open a grab. Already got the kitchen knife. Nice dart into the arm there. Don't hit him too early. And they think he, he did hit early. him too early. Mm. And that really is what? just a roulette brain thing. He just. <laughs> exactly. He, he wanted to be quicker and then chose the one approach that is the riskiest. Mm, and and of course it didn't work out. If if he were to the calmer the other person and just sneak by without the enforcer not being there or any other distraction would have been fine. But yeah. sadly not the case here. I think it's definitely definitely a bit of Mumbai fatigue setting in here. Kind of mistakes that you wouldn't normally see, but um, Pidgey just. It looked like he was going to drag the food vendor down that side then, which... Ooh, and just the bodyguard that's a body him. found. Is that the... I, he, he pulled the, the food vendor down that little side bit, which I would have said is right in the view cones of all the bodyguards there, so I think it might have just been the bodyguard spotted him dragging the food vendor. Although he hasn't got combat. And again, probably just trying to work out what on earth's going on. Yeah, we don't. We won't see the bodyguards, or maybe. Yeah, it was the first one, or yeah, like one of the three. Yeah. So he didn't go into combat. He obviously didn't see him dragging the body. He just saw it KO. So that's why he didn't go into combat. Oh wow! Final fifteen minutes, and the so, tie is looming indeed. So this could be the last, potentially the last run. I mean, we're looking probably at about an eight-nine minute run from both of them with the the, the strategies they're using. So. This could potentially be the last go. Exactly, depending on where they rip, they might not have a chance to restart. But maybe that will help them to, to calm themselves down because final chance and the smallest chance of being overtaken, I guess. If, of course, if you're first trying something, then you expect to to actually racing someone very close by, but. After 30 minutes, uh, yeah, I mean, one, they could be anywhere. A 15-minute run, at this point, a 15-minute run could could win. So, it's, um, it's definitely playing safe is definitely an option here, and just make sure you're 100% before you do anything. Take that extra two or three minutes on the run, and it could be the uh, deciding factor. Yeah, <laughs> we are running out of things to talk about because it will be the same thing. Uh, for Mika, I can only hope that uh, his approach doesn't change for the worse with the calmer KO. Uh, we might see the fuse box again, we might see a bit of waste with the calmer. Those are minuscule things. Of course, the letter opener will be taken care of and then the brick and then Vanya Davud and back to Maestrom. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either strategy here. It's just little things getting in the way of them actually completing it. Yeah, and needless to say, Pidgey's strategy has been solid for a long, long time now. I've, I really wanted to see the train yard set, but of course it is 
going to be another uh, skywalk in the tournament. He takes a break. I was going to say, you can leave him there, can't you? The uh, foreman. As long as you take this guy out. Yeah. And it's a sub you, which of course would mean that if the foreman was right behind him, then it could be a chance for a body fun, but not if he's far far away and he could get the letter opener. Yeah. Is he opting to bring a lock pick now? So that's I, I don't I haven't seen where is that how he's been doing it the last few times? I kinda of, I missed that bit, but he's on that's obviously a small optimization again, just Bringing the lockpick to get in that door for the letter opener. I I didn't see the the replan, but I did see him be being really happy after <laughs> working with the letter opener. So I imagine that finally getting his rice threat and the lockpick was uh, yeah, and that's caused him to just catch straight up. So they are almost mirrored now, just by that again that tiny little optimization. Oh, Mika throwing the brick for a second <laughs> there was the lock one I was talking about, but. It evades him once again, and in my mind, I am screaming at them to just use the prompt there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't tell him. It should be like an exception if it's for their for the better good. <laughs> just have. Beautiful symmetry. They always meet at this point, uh, with waiting for Vanya and taking care of the Queen's guard. Yeah, Mika's a little bit slower to get here, but each time they've got here, he's he's had that little advantage. So yeah, they've they've always ended up. Rima is nowhere to be seen for the, for the moment, so that's going to slow him down a lot. Wow, she is yeah. very very slow. I wish it sometimes just meant that she doesn't come at all, but no, that's not the case. Yeah, I have she, no idea what she's up to there. I have never seen. This much delay. There she, there she is. Wow, I've I've never seen a delay that long on Rima, and she's not even not even gonna jog to catch up. At last, she starts <laughs> the uh, final jogging, but of this spin. Actually, yeah. No prompt for Mika yeah, just yet. Too much identical KOs. We're gonna see. Like, oh. We're gonna see dual uh, five wires here. Mika hasn't got a fiber wire. What happened there? Did he have it as a stash? I am not I sure. He had it in his loadout. He must have had it. I as... thought he. Yeah, he should have always had it. Of course, he he had done the kill so many times. Uh... Oh, he forgot to take it out of the briefcase. No way. Oh no. Oh, that is that's such an easy but horrible thing to do. It's, it's so easy to, wow. to take something out of a briefcase. I mean, again, especially when you're 35 minutes into a spin. Rain is probably not quite at 100% right now. After restarting so late so many times, and of course trying to pull off the first five minutes of muscle memory at that point for the fifth or sixth time, yeah. you just forget about these times. Again, he hasn't taken it out of the briefcase yet, so hopefully he's going to remember to do that. At least I didn't see him take it out on this run. Yeah, it was the last one. I'm fairly sure. Please go back to the briefcase. <laughs> we don't want to just, see this Just again. in case, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see him take it out. I, I, I may have just missed that, but I didn't see him take it out of the briefcase, and we'll see as soon as he goes back into his inventory. I, I yeah, can't I, live I with really this. I really hope he did. Because this, this yeah. one, I mean, nine minutes, this is definitely his last run. Um, I can't believe I'm watching the world for, for this, for <laughs> to, to see if he picked up the, the fiber he wire. Did, he definitely did the first time, but the, um, the holy man was behind, so he opted mm -hmm. to restart. I, he he can't possibly miss it twice, right? <laughs> okay, Pidgey's had to go for the slightly longer Darwood ISO. Oh no, he's gonna have problems here though. 
Oh, this is too early. That's, he might. Okay. Oh, he got away with it. He needs to get Darwood quickly, though. Real NPCs will be a problem, and oh, I think he was oh, red anyway, yeah. but that's... Uh... Hmm. This is just back and forth. I can't see Pidgey finishing within 7.30 now. I don't think this, this strategy is quite that optimized, and I feel like Mika doesn't have his fiber wire, so I... I didn't see it. I, I, I watched that first minute back. I did not see him no. picking out the fiber wire. So I, 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 I will lose my mind if, if this is the decider. Seven minutes to go. Mika is a tiny bit slower and hasn't got... Is that just my... Oh, he's froze, yeah. He may have just thrown his computer out the window in rage. We'll soon find out. Oh, back to menu, but he may have yeah, also yeah, given up. Yeah, I think, he's, uh, I think he's realized he doesn't have time now. I think, yeah, and they're a rip from Mika here, and this is the this is the last chance he has now. He's gonna have to. He's really gonna have to optimize this spin now. Well, Mika's getting getting half a point, but will he be getting the other half? And the fiber wire is it remains elusive. He does need a measuring tape. And, uh, luckily, yeah. we're, we're, we're on to a nice, quick, and easy map in Santa Fortuna next. So, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this could go down to the wire. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah. I, I, yeah. Mando confirming he has no fiber wire. So, I mean, that's, that's going to be an extra m minute or so on his run if he just opts to run back for his fiber wire i i can't see him doing this in the time limit unfortunately and and last time around when he realized he doesn't have the fiber wire he just straight up restarted he he didn't try to look for an alternative he didn't let vanya go i no, think he knowing that it's on her way back technically from the, mm -hmm. the boathouse couldn't he but um yeah so it's he's not it's not over, but he needs a plan B, and he needs to figure out, he needs to be really quick uh, with his plan B, wherever yeah. that closest measuring tip is. Uh, nah, nah, that's over. <laughs> and that was, that after talking talk about, about it for so <laughs> yeah, it, it just had to be the last run. Uh, Pidgey's already loaded into Santa Fortuna, he has definitely decided that he is done. I think Mika's probably going to decide the same thing. And uh, yeah, we might see Curry call this one slightly early. Probably uh, salvation if, if there was no way to to get the measuring tape. And I think he did think that when he got the measuring tape, the fiber wire, the previous run, which ripped very early on, uh, that maybe he got it, but I, he just wouldn't have enough time to, to find the measuring tape. I don't think so. Yeah. The... So unfortunately, I think they'll both they'll both be happy to be out of Mumbai. Even, I mean, yeah, they won't be very happy that night that they couldn't finish, but um, they'll be happy that they're out of Mumbai and still in the game at least. So um, there we go, confirmation. Curry just finishing that one a little bit early. One and a half points each. So this could this could be a decider. Um, obviously, the only, only one point needed to win from this point. But they do need the one point. Yeah. Uh, of course, you cannot end <laughs> with a tie. This is not a time limit affair. This is not a timeless affair. This has a time limit of 45 minutes. Uh, well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. But we can get back to 2-2 two to two and the Chongqing decider. Uh, other than that, it is a whoever wins the Fortuna wins the match situation. Yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> of all of all the mats to have in this position, Santa Fortuna, I think, is uh, we've seen some very interesting Santa Fortunas so far, and I feel like this is, in my opinion, I think this is the best map for freestyle, um, because of how far the targets are, and then the number of disguises, kill conditions, everything. It just 
everything kind of compounds on this map. Um, for me, at least, anyway. So like, this is this is a great map to uh, to have freestyle on. Hopefully, we get something really good. Hopefully, we don't see another tie. Um, but yeah, both players are going to be very tired now after that Mumbai. <laughs> Yeah, but how long of a break they got? Uh, three more minutes. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's an opportunity. It's absolutely great for freestyle. Uh, the conditions are great on all maps that they they switch things up. But the fact that you can uh, pick and choose the, the targets and the combinations that way and and make it your your own Sun of Virginia spin is, is a huge plus and making it so much better to play. G Pidgey just showing us a quick uh, how he's gonna do all his isolations potentially. Although Jorge is not taking that uh peekaboo. He doesn't want any of that. I get recommended a uh, Red Fox video a couple of days ago where uh, if you shoot in the air or shoot somewhere, uh, then the the shot will be heard by Franco. But of course, the bullet is somewhere else and it won't be heard by anyone. And then you can lure him around the, the machine, which will be a nice yeah. isolation. Yeah. It amazes me that people do still come up with new isolate. Like, obviously, there's always room for exploration on these maps with how long we've had roulette and, and just the maps in general it's kind of crazy to think that people can still come up with all these unique isolations <laughs> yeah i don't know obviously i mean i mean meme junkie is a big proponent for coming up with new strats um indeed okay so we should be let me see what time the spin was 45 so spin should be here very soon Less than a minute and potentially the final map and to be fair, hopefully the final map, because <laughs> if it's not the final one, it means that this has been a tie or this will have been a tie for 45 minutes. I do not want to watch it <laughs> again, but it's been so <laughs> I entertaining. I... If that happens, you say, you've done a lot of casting over the last two days, so uh, I'm surprised your voice hasn't gone yet. I uh, appreciate it, but it has been so entertaining uh, in general, of course, but for them in, in particular, uh, Mumbai, with crazy back and forth and uh, some really nice approaches and a very even match so far, which is good to see on both sides. Map number four, and I'm not going to steal it this time. Okay, we have Silence Assault Rifle as a Mansion Guard, Kitchen Knife Melee as the Hippie, and Machete Throne as the Construction Worker. Okay, so Silence Assault Rifle, I don't believe there's any of them on the map. But I'm not... I don't a, think so. I'm not, I'm not a huge... Uh, Santa Fortuna knowledge base, but um, I don't believe there is. Kitchen knife melee and machete thrown. So we've got both different conditions for the uh, lethal melee. That's so depending on where the the best agency pickup would be, the silence they are might be a quick kill, and the mansion guard is a very quick disguise for for Rico. Yeah, uh, and then he started, and I think he's trying to work out where he's actually put that. I think he's put the stash in the um the kitchen, is it? There's a couple of stashes in the mansion, which can be quite difficult to find. I think it's towards the coca field area. I'm not sure if it's actually there, but direction-wise, the blue dot was there. Uh, for now, he will go for the Rico isolation and, of course, can get, can get the disguise as well. I'm not sure if he's early or late for this. It, it's not spotted by Rico, so... Looking like an ice ISO. <laughs> Who knows? This is the door, of course. Be... We've got two different starts. Mika's decided to go straight in as construction uh, cocoa field worker. Possibly going to get a pickup and get the machete. No, opting not to go for the machete. Or is he? <laughs> a big back and forth here <laughs> yeah. and actually yeah. finds his way into this uh, so room. And... For Jorge. I haven't seen this before. I was already really impressed by Mika winning Berlin using the bubble. Now it's not it wasn't the reason he won, but utilized it very well and yeah. 
just be another yeah again that's that's another isolation i mean i i i haven't used the bubble gum at all personally but i can see it has many uses i mean obviously tomorrow or mendoza is the obvious one well, and pidgey's gonna get spotted there but yeah tomorrow or mendoza is the one that's kind of become the meta use of the the gum Ooh, that's going to be very close, I think, yeah. I, I have to agree, I think the, the bubblegum is very underrated because it's being overshadowed by the uh, the gold brick snail. But plenty of good uses there and... Yeah, I mean, both can functionally the same, but obviously the, the gold brick does have the, the lure element as well, but... Um, the, yeah, the... While the... I was just uh, Pidgey managed to get the peekaboo. I'm not sure if that was entirely intentional, but he got the peekaboo. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be timed well for a nice peekaboo, but sometimes you're just a bit too late and have to improvise that same thing. And uh, I think Mika's going shopping now. He can pick and choose now because he has the kitchen knife. The silenced AR sh should be his agency pickup. Yeah. So that would be near Jorge. And he might be going to the village for the hippie disguise. Yeah. Um, is there a free? I'm not sure. Is there a free construction work on this map? There's a free mansion guard, isn't there? Down by the construction site. Although, yeah, Pidgey's already got one, but um, Mika is actually in mansion guard as well, so that's that's kind of nullifies that anyway. But yeah, I don't know if there's a free construction worker. I don't think now. I don't think anyone's actually free. Uh, there are a couple uh, isolated ones, and uh, strictly speaking, there is some construction in the village, so you could lure a couple around. But those aren't the easiest. It was risky for me going anywhere near that window. That has uh, ripped many people. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes fifty seconds means that Andrea will be a bit. Uh, he will be late for Andrea, so I'm hippie, curious if hippies legal in the uh, cocoa fields. So yeah, he might be out of the question, or might be. It depends whether they've got whether they've got a seeker or not, or whether they're going to try and go for some. Oh, actually, Mika had him down in the uh, hut, doesn't he? So he doesn't need to worry about legal disguise in there. It's kind of hard to work out right now who is going for what and where. Yeah. Um, Especially with Mika leaving the agency pickup as well as the machete at the cocoa field. So, if you would say that uh, those two would be Rico and Jorge that leaves the kitchen knife with Andrea, but of course he's not the hippie just now. Instead, he's going for the construction worker uh, as the guard. So, he will have to get back this disguise most likely. Oh no, he just timed that wrong. construction worker just turns around and uh, back to square one, unfortunately. Hiji, meanwhile, has his AR in hand. And uh, has made Jorge sick. Uh... Yeah, I was wondering whether he was, because he wasn't walking in the normal sick animation, but um, see, that does happen sometimes. And this is the bathroom, which is uh, the quote-unquote bad one, uh, because of course yeah. uh, they the aren't. Can be seen there after a certain amount of time. Um, potentially, ooh, crime notice is that? Oh, he can be seen, and he was seen this time around. Otherwise, it would have been a really neat first kill. Uh, Said another case, and both of them with. Couple of restarts now. I I really I really like Emika's approach uh, with the silence they are. Not sure if it how it works out for timing wise because okay now he's carrying the AR so it would probably mean the machete leaves. So he's leaving uh, the AR in that tunnel so they can come back for it later. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a bit closer now to Rico. Yeah, so I, yeah I, wonder, I wonder if he's maybe thinking of Jorge, but then he hasn't picked up the machete, so... Kind of hard to work out who's going for what. Because if, if he was going to get Rico, you'd have thought he would just bring the briefcase with him. 
and leave it with Rico, but um Hard to work out which one he might be going for. Yeah, options are still on the table. I'm not sure if it's intentional or an oversight or might not be thinking about the machete. Okay, now I think he is just going to... Uh, Jorge's down. He's in the right disguise. He has the weapon. I think he's just going to go ahead and... I think maybe Rico, uh, Jorge got there a little bit quicker than last time. So he's obviously opted to go for that. So first kill down. And that makes it a bit easier for us to watch as well. Uh, machete has to be leaving the Hoko field. Yeah, there is a and, machete, uh, isn't there? And that is in that tree at the back of the coaching yeah. field. Again, opting not to get it. You can get the kitchen knife here from the kitchen quite easily with the... Uh, the mansion disguise. I think that's probably where he's heading now. You kick quite a few kitchen knives. Yeah, it goes for the one at the bar. Although being in a legal disguise, he doesn't have an easy Rico ISO here. Yeah, do not have to mark. Two, two and a half minutes for both, actually. It's a very similar situation uh, on both sides. Mika, one kill ahead, though, and Pichi getting close with a... Okay, Mika looking Pichu. like he might have realised he'd missed the machete, so I think he's going back for it. There we go, yep. Yeah. Oh, Pichi bumping the guard, I'm sure if it's... <laughs> Not a bumper, but he's bumping to luring him. Uh, but he won't be really hearing that. I think the no, just radio is only functional. Yeah. A, bit, a little bit far away. Just going to have to wait a second on that one, I think. Or risk getting spotted. He should hear that radio as soon as he starts walking back. <laughs> he, he does not want to be lured. There we go. At last. Uh, might just crouching be... and hiding, although he is actually legal in this disguise, so uh, it's, <laughs> he could just walk up behind him here sure. as he comes through the tunnel. Yeah, there we go. He's deciding to do that, but looks things. And secures the disguise, and around the same timing as before for Jorge, so I'm curious if the approach will be changed in any way. Yeah, and Mika is looking to get Rico in his office. Just the second guard has just come in. Got to, this, he's got to be careful here. Yep, there we go. Then that is oh. an unfortunate view cone. Um, he was he was trying to be so safe. Yeah, and then get through the anyway. These are uh, not as safe as they might seem, unfortunately. But Pichu taking yeah yeah him taking the extra time actually will put him to the right bathroom and. He will take it for sure. <laughs> Just places an emetic at his feet. Unders off. Safest the and best. Mansion guard is legal in the cocoa fields. Um, probably the arguably the best disguise on the map can go virtually anywhere on the map for mansion staff, I believe, except for the tunnels. Yeah, sounds about right. Or mansion guard, sorry, not staff. Um, we'll wait for Jorge and then we'll get that first kill yeah, probably after the second ice. So. Depending on how comfortable he is with the shot, he might not even... He's probably going to probably KO him as soon as he gets to that toilet, but his guards are quite close. And yeah, no, he's fine. since that's not frontal, it's fairly oh, good, although it's some manipulation oh, which... Wow. <laughs> That guard does not have very good vision, and he's probably very thankful for that right now. They are very much oblivious, yeah. No question marks there. And so that's there, I believe, can't he? Uh, he shouldn't. No one should ever go back towards that uh, toilet. Yeah, it's safe and uh, secured now for the whole hey kill and. 
And we're just seeing another yeah. little tiny optimization from Mika going to grab the machete straight away there. And he can just bung that on his back, and that's completely legal. Yeah, so. different walks of the spin, different approaches so far, but both of them, as the <laughs> mentioned guard with the machete at the same part of the map, that was nice. And now it's not going to be a kill uh, for Mika on uh, Jorge, but he will bring the construction worker here as third kill. Yeah, so he's decided to change his strategy out there. Obviously thinking that the assault rifle might be easier on another target. We get a kitchen knife, at least Mika, and PG is looking for... Uh, I'm not quite sure if this part is needed, of course, because Rico's already isolated, isn't he? Or was that a different run? But I do think every run has started with Mansion Staff Start for PG and the Rico peekaboo. But yeah, he's just going to the construction worker area, dodging that enforcer. That's the important part. Eka's back in the office. He is ahead of Rico this time though, so he has quite a lot of extra time here to uh, get rid of this guard in the toilets instead. Although it isn't the box in there, I don't think, is there? No way. One of the He's just hoping to KO everyone here and then <laughs> not the yeah, the, the panic, but. God, did not bite on that second uh, second part of that chain lure. I'm gonna try and get him here again, but this is super risky. Yeah, it seems like the same approach, but it can be done. But I mean, he could he could try turning those guards with a bullet shot. Um, <gasps> PG four got the machete was on his back, and of course everyone is enforcer <laughs> for that reason, and it's not even suspicious action, but illegal. No, that's again. That's just a roulette brain thing. You just little things you just don't think about sometimes. Yeah, and it's like hidden within the the textile or the <laughs> textures of the, the suit. It's not really noticeable on you, and uh, the the bottom right corner is also not very uh, flashy with the and the shape of the machete. So it's yeah. Mika trying something interesting here. So Rico's come into the bedroom. He's KO'd female guard there, KO'd Rico, and the other guard is in the toilets. Now I okay. have no idea whether this is safe because I have never seen this before. This is uh, quite something. I think Catalina will be, will be here. or Yeah, Catalina then... goes through into this bathroom, doesn't she, and goes straight through into the other one. She is definitely in the changing room, and I think after that, it would only make sense that she goes to the bathroom. Uh, but I think there are two closets. Yeah, I think there's enough, and he's he he's mansion staff. I think he's going to go mansion staff assault rifle here. I think this, I think this is what he's tried to optimize here. But he does need to hide all these bodies. Yeah, now it's uh, the bodies are distributed. Two in this room will both be hidden, and then the maid in the other one. There's the kill, and Unfortunately, I think because not hiding them. No, that's... I, think, I don't know what her cycle's like, but um, she will go. She will cycle through there. Yeah. At some point. Maybe she crosses. Maybe he crosses path with Catalina, and somehow realizes that uh, she could be an issue. She will yeah. be an issue. She. Yeah, possibly just doesn't even know her cycle. I mean, it, it, it's not, she's not kind of a main character in any way, essentially. You mm. probably might not just not know her cycle. Um, but yeah, she, she will go up there, unfortunately. So I think it's just a matter of time until red guns appear, unfortunately. Yeah. Race against the clock. If, if he's lucky and it's three more minutes, and that's very generous that the cycle is another three minutes long, uh, I don't see two kills in there anyway. 
No. No, at this point we can almost hope that it happens sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, for him it's better because then he can restart earlier and then have a better chance and a smaller disadvantage to PG, who is now two minutes into the run. And uh, he is also keep keeps changing his approach and will now be killing Rico with the AR as the mansion guard. Yeah, and it's I haven't seen him do this kill. It's interesting to see how much they're switching it up, kind of. Yeah, I think there you go. She she just uh, walked in on all those bodies. So that is a restart. Yeah, but it, it's um, it's interesting to see them changing up their strategies so much. Something that you don't see overly often in roulette. People do sometimes get a bit stuck in their ways and don't change strats. Um, we're seeing quite a lot of strategy changes here, especially on this map. They can't this quite format. to decide who yeah. they want for which, which is kind of the beauty of uh, of freestyle. But, this um, is the perfect format for that, yeah. It's so easy to just not only switch up the approaches, but the targets themselves. And Mika's not only restarting, he's replanning and... Uh, yeah, he's gone for Yeah, a another system, approach. So, yeah. I mean, be, yeah. of the three, obviously, Rico has a lure in um, the hippo. Does Jorge have a specific lure? I'm not entirely sure. You could destroy the flower sample in the botan lab. It hasn't been explored all too much, but it is okay. but quite dangerous yeah. in terms of wall hacks. I'm just thinking, obviously, Re yeah, Re Rico can technically be kind of lured at any point with the hippo, um, although he does it does take him a little while to get through his cycle. Um, oh yeah, Mando just saying the drug bus in the cave. Oh yes, also, yeah, yeah. That's again, it's another long-winded way of going about it. I'm just, I'm just kind of wondering if maybe they're thinking we can try and use some of the lures on the map to get them, but I, I'm not sure any of them are overly viable for 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 speed anyway. Yeah. So for Mika, if it's <laughs> with the shank, <laughs> the shank <laughs> through the 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 glasses. That's amazing. It gets compromised by oh, the, no. the guardian of the oh, the dead drummer. Oh my! View cane. Twenty minutes into the spin, not not obvious who's got the advantage here, really. Neither of them have yeah. kind of settled on a strat that they're happy with. So obviously, Fijero is closer to a, a finish because he's five minutes in, but I don't see the strats. Unlike in Mumbai, we, we already knew after 15 minutes how they would approach it. Here, it feels like it's their first run, and you just hope that the rest of the run works out because I don't see what will happen just now, just yet. Yeah, because he could that guard. I'm not. 100%. Is he trying to just get an early mansion staff potentially here? Mansion yeah, guard. I... That's right, I keep getting them confused. Mansion guard. <laughs> where he's going to go, if I'm honest. I haven't seen ah, this before, and he's going for a... <laughs> he was doing <laughs> like a, a circuit. It's not even worth it. Wow. Now, what is interesting is the guy who goes and sits down on that chair right there he is completely blind as soon as he starts sitting down and i think so you could potentially get the guard there if you were quick enough um that guy as soon as he sits down and puts his head back he is out of it and he won't see anything yeah i'm curious if there are any other factors in this part of the village like uh, roaming civilians or guards but yeah, he's no issue. And uh... you've got the other guy sat by the vending machine. I mean, he might be an issue. He he's probably far enough away that he wouldn't be. Um, yeah, okay. he's not the easiest of people to go for. I mean, he could wait a little bit longer on his cycle, and he will go around the back of the security building, and you could probably get him on the stairs. There would be viable. Mm -hmm. Um. He does have quite a wild kind of route around the village, and, and the village is 
not overly populated, but there is a lot of eyes that can see things, so this might get spotted by the lady in the window. Okay, he has a karma. Oh, there's a whoosh behind. Chenk not right eaten. Behind him there. Okay, he, he probably won't get found there. Not that it would matter anyway, but um. Yeah, now it's all good. Yeah, with the <laughs> Chenk, all good. The pitch is already uh, uh, two kills down. I think that's the first time that someone made it to two kills out of three. Yeah, Beat a Jorge Picabo outside the shed and the six-minute mark. And with the machete, he's down, which leaves the kitchen knife and the hippie for Andrea. Yeah, we haven't actually seen anybody go for Andrea yet. Um, so we don't Not know what close. strat we're going to see here. The closest anyone was to the Andrea compound was uh, Mika getting the construction worker disguised and ripping to it. And that's still yeah. quite a distance. Don't, where, where is she at this point of her cycles? We're nearly eight minutes in. Um, obviously, she wanders around the village a few times. I believe she doesn't go down to the construction site unless she actually meets with the... Does she go to the, not, does she go to the construction site of her own accord? I'm not 100% sure on that one. I think uh, she needs to notice the shaman. Yeah. Uh, and that's the only trigger. So she'll just she'll wander around the village, which is about a five minute cycle. Mm -hmm. So she might get lucky and she'll... She, by the time he gets there, she might just be getting back into the villa. Yeah, would, I um... I would be guessing she she leaves it around this time, so uh, seven or eight minutes. I guess we'll see about that very soon. Um, but I mean, still needs the hippie, and yeah, he's shaking his head. Uh, I think he knows that it's a bit too late. And uh, after all this, uh, it was actually Mika getting the uh, the first <laughs> the and the kill of the. He's swiped that one. Uh, nice yeah. steal in lockout freestyle. Pidgey might. His best option here might just be to wait. It's not the uh, not the option he's going to want, but it, it might be the <laughs> yeah. easiest and safest thing to do here. Yeah, we'll be getting this last disguise. Item should be acquired a long time ago from Dimension. Uh, Mika uh, crossing past the guard who takes the briefcase hopefully no ar in there yeah, but i'm uh, the uh that was the only thing i was wondering where about that security guard or mansion guard was whether he might sort of route back past him um and mm -hmm. he would have probably been an enforcer to his own disguise but he didn't have that issue so I'm gonna go for this same camera on the um construction worker even though it didn't work last time he hopefully he just remember no nope, not quite Okay, it was a little bit further away. It's yeah. an even verse body fall, but works out for him this time. Okay, and he's just juggling the uh, disguise as well, just to make the, the re-grab nice and safe. Uh, and Peach is getting close to that finish with yeah, Andrea yeah, making his way back. Now. Probably just go for the standard peekaboo. Again, a little bit of a wait, but... It, Especially after Mumbai, he's probably thinking playing it safe might just be the best option here and just waiting it out. This is not the time to go for anything risky. Yeah, just a bit longer to hold on. It will be a melee kill. He cannot throw the kitchen knife. I'm also a tiny bit worried about that situation if he yeah, forgets he about it in the moment. That, yeah. Mika's still looking pretty good here. I mean, he has optimized a little bit. He's juggling. He was juggling the disguises a second ago, and he just put the hippie up where the construction worker was. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe just to make that grab a little bit easier later on. Yeah, I was wondering about it as well. It's the melee opts not to hide Andre. It shouldn't matter anyway. It's a very nice silent kill, and now just run to the exit, and he's not on a timer. No, nobody should be found uh, any minute. Uh -huh. 
might just be over at last. Yeah, just gonna go to the buff stop. And he is out. And that is gonna be confirmation. Not not on ease. I mean this is not one of these kind of you look at that spin and, and on paper it doesn't look overly difficult, but with the freestyle as well, <laughs> it just adds that extra element and it's just yeah they 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 both got caught up on trying to change strategies and just trying to work out who was the optimal target for each one there yeah and i suspect if they were uh, routing this one for another half hour they would end up with a with a fine with a different final order between the targets and conditions uh it's just a very nicely balanced spin this was and uh, so many ways to optimize it and of course, in a tournament, PG ending up in an 11.45 is partially because of the, the pressure and uh, wanting to finish this RTA event quicker, but this would be an interesting one to see how low can people uh, get this one down. Yeah. I think there's a lot, yeah, I mean, yeah, there are lots of room for optimization on any of these spins, probably. And again, the, the free target maps are the ones where this mode really comes into its own. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I'm sure somebody, probably Mando, he loves doing these. He's loved doing these spins so far. He'll probably show us a, a quick way to do it. But obviously, in the heat at the moment, you don't have that time to optimize. So, uh, always tricky when you're actually in the match and trying to work it out. <laughs> yeah, all they wanted is, is a finish. <laughs> so of course, they will take it, or PG will take it. Uh, but uh, at least this was far from it. Uh... A sweep, uh, getting these uh, nice score lines. Of course, this didn't go for five maps, but I think we've seen uh, plenty of good play from both. And then, of course, uh, PG will have at least one more match and stay in the tournament. Yeah. I'm a little bit distracted by chat there. I was just trying to catch up a little bit. I've, uh, <laughs> I will be, be honest, the action has been so... Uh fast here I've, I've i've kind of missed chat a little bit i've been trying to focus so much on the <laughs> match um it's always a tricky one to keep up with um yeah let's have a look at the let's just quickly refresh although has that already been updated that has already updated there we go so um yeah so pidgeot will want to play thanium in round two um, only one more round two match to be confirmed now. Um, there's a little bit later in the week, Speedster versus some random person. Um, that's going to be the latest of those round one matches. Um, we also have Mikola versus Chromex, Life versus Linux Penguin. So some exciting matches to look forward to. Yeah, nicely, nicely progressing with the first uh, first round almost done, and uh, we did get the all Polish quarterfinal in the first one. We didn't get the all British quarterfinal in the last one uh, by <laughs> taking a, a three to two against Joker J, and we can get the all American quarterfinal if Speedster beats Randy on Friday. Yeah. And uh, time zones, obviously the final boss of any roulette tournament. <laughs> um, but hopefully we won't have too many issues. Let's switch to the upcoming matches. And we can see we have three matches scheduled. Uh, no, wait, we don't. We have, I haven't really updated this. Let's uh, give that a refresh. And we're going to have one match scheduled, which is... Speeds to versus some random person, that is on 22nd, which by my maths is Friday, um, and that is 11pm CEST, obviously this is my uh, local time, um, imagine the other matches will be getting scheduled quite soon, obviously just working around time zones and such, um, other than Miklo and Chromex who are <laughs> in the same time zone, um, so that one shouldn't be too much of an issue, um, and they do have, I believe they've got until next Tuesday, I want to say, to play the matches for round two. So they've got a little bit of leeway. Um, 
hopefully we'll see them a little bit spread out and uh yeah so there's much else to say any final thoughts uh it's it's been a great pleasure and thanks for having me i was really excited to see all these great plays of course the tie is sometimes inevitable if you are playing three of the big five but uh I think they both did really well and uh, looking forward to see PG in the quarterfinals against Fenium, which is a rematch from a previous Providence event because they already played in the bingo tournament. So I think there's some oh, yes, history yeah. breeding. <laughs> People going to be out for blood there on that one. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I thought it's been a, a, an exciting match. So I kind of lost track of chat a bit because I was uh, <laughs> trying so hard to keep up with the action. So. Um, it's, it's always good when you got a lot of action. But, um, yeah, we will hopefully see everyone back. I'm sure we will probably have another match before the 22nd. I have a feeling that Blythe and Linux have actually scheduled. Uh, uh, they they have, I'm fairly sure, just didn't make it to tournament yet. Uh, yeah. I you know that it would be oh in, in 20 hours, says this course, so it would be uh, oh, tomorrow, 8 p.m. So the entry in their Seven minutes, yeah. The next round match pretty quickly. Yeah, so hopefully we see everyone for that one. No caster for that one yet, but um keep an eye on the Providence Discord, which I will link to in the chat there. Keep an eye on the Discord, obviously, and uh everything is in there. Um yeah, thank you for joining me, and I think that probably wraps it up. Yeah, it did. Okay, right, we'll see you later, guys.